Here we want to take a look at how to do a reflection. So we know it's going to be a reflection because of the capital R and then the letter in the corner. There's no number. A number would indicate we're going to do a rotation because a rotation has degrees. So we're going to reflect triangle ABC over line M. So the letter here is what we're reflecting it over, this line M. So in a reflection, we just need to remember two things. We will trace the shape as well as the guideline. Now we can't just trace some of the guideline because when we flip it over, we wouldn't know where exactly to line it up. We would just be estimating. So we want to draw the shape, but we also want to draw the whole guideline. So we want to put the ends of the arrows Okay, then we're going to flip it over. And someone asked, Mr. D, can we just rotate it? Now that is not going to be a reflection because point A should be reflected here and B here. So don't accidentally do a rotation. T rotating turns your paper. We need to do a reflection, which includes flipping your paper over, your tracing paper. So we line up the arrows and we can either poke a hole through each corner or since the paper is upside down we can trace over it and it will transfer through. We can see the light reflection here and we typically want to draw the letters as well just to be sure but when we flip them over they will be upside down A, B, C and because they're the new versions, we put the apostrophe. So again, in a reflection, we're going to draw the shape. I would emphasize the th four corners, so I'll trace those. We trace the guideline. I made sure that the arrows are filled in correctly. We flip over our paper and we can trace through or transfer over by drawing on top of it. Or we could poke a hole through each corner. We could do that. So we can see our four points here. And again, when we do this, it's best to Take the letters with you, just to be sure. So when I flip it over, J then I, J is here, I is here, and then H is here, and K. So don't forget, trace the picture, trace the line, and don't forget to label your corresponding points.